All right, welcome everyone to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to be taking a look at how to put a 2D node or some sort of 2D object or sprite into our 3D world. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna basically put something in our game like so, right? Now, in order to do this, we'll just get started right away. We're gonna add a few things. We're gonna add a node 3D. We're gonna add a progress bar. And then we're also going to add a sub viewport and then we're also going to add a Sprite 3D. And that is pretty much all we need. Now for the progress bar, this is gonna be the example that I use in order to represent my uh, 2D thing. Now here, if in my progress bar, I'm just gonna extend this so that I can see it a little more. However, you still won't see anything if I put this into the sub viewport, right? Well, you'll see it right there, but the size, we wanna make sure we adjust it equal to the progress bar. So what we'll do is we'll go to the progress bars layout, transform, and we'll set this to maybe 120 and 20. Uh, 20, please, there we go. It might not be doing it because, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I guess, I guess we're being forced to do 27. Okay, so we'll do 120 and 127, and now we will see the full progress bar. Now for the progress bar, I'm gonna set the value to 50, so that way we can at least see um, 50% and you'll see the progress bar. Now in the Sprite 3D, we want to take our texture and select new viewport and this will pop up and it will, will, will select the viewport. And that is pretty much it. If we take our node 3D and bring it up a little bit, you'll now see that uh, Sprite. Now there's a few problems though, obviously. Here, if I play, we see that. However, if I move my camera, let's say we move it like this, we move it at an angle, it's kind of not angled towards the camera, right? So what we can do, first we'll go to sub viewport and what we wanna do is get rid of the corners because if we actually look here and zoom in, you can kind of see the corners a bit. So we can actually go to transparent background and we'll also disable 3D. Now it looks a little nicer and especially if you actually give it uh, the progress bar a a theme, an actual theme, because the default is kind of ugly. Now in the Sprite 3D, in the flags, we'll go to uh, billboard and enable that. And now this will basically just look towards wherever we're looking. So now when I play, it will be looking directly at us. So that way it kind of follows the camera. All right, that is pretty much it for this lecture. It's very short, but a very powerful example of what I wanted to show you how to do, um, because we can also, you know, again, just start putting other 2D objects into this. So we can maybe put, um, let me see. Okay, let's put a uh, node. I might have to drag this into here like this. Yeah, so we can drag in this icon, um, but you might see that the icon won't pop up because in our sub viewport, it's not there. So again, you'd have to adjust the sub viewport, but it depends. But if I play, you now see the 2D scene, right? So that's actually really cool. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next lecture.